Alright, what's up, dirt boys? Uh, I decided to do, like, uh, this is dead of the brain here, PC-98 Classic. Uh, it's probably one of the best adventure games ever made, and, uh, I mean, it hasn't been translated, so, you know, it's like, might as well. I mean, I mean, it's better to have, like, some idiot like me, and you're reading, translating it, than, I guess, nothing at all. I'm not sure if anybody's working on it or what, but whatever, so, well, let's, let's just do it. Um, for names, like, I'm not going to be reading their name every time, like a play or something. I'll just put some, if I remember, I'll put some, like, text on the screen so you can identify what name goes to who. I guess I'll say, like, different names if they're just, like, in the same, you know, if they're, like, in the same paragraph here or something so you can differentiate who's talking, but... Well, let's get started here with our, uh, start, starts off with our main character, Cole. I'm finally back home. I mean, I don't, I don't mind my, uh, my part-time painting job or anything, but man, they, those boys really work me hard up there. I mean, why, why am I the one that has to do a little, little side trash work? I mean, at least I'm getting some, uh, some good overtime. You know, getting some, some decent compensation from that overtime, so it can't be helped. Man, I'm, just, I'm just covered in sweat. I'm just gonna hop on into the shower. What is that? Is that? Let me turn some program off real quick. Okay, there we go. It's like, oh man, much much better. And there's nothing, nothing like a nice beer after a shower. I mean, one one taste of that. It's just a it's a ritual you won't stop until death. You know, I mean, work's all work's all done for the day. I wonder if anything's, uh, wonder if anything interesting is going down. You know, like some kind of world surprising event or something. There's a uh, there's a phone ringing for our deaf viewers. Though I guess you won't be aware of me telling you that. What? Who's who's calling this late at night? Hello, it's Cole. Oh, is it Cole? It was Cougar. What? Doc? What are you calling this late at night for? Dude, it's it's amazing, Cole. My, uh... My discovery this time, my invention this time, even you're gonna be surprised by it. Here, I'll fall down the stairs. What, again? Was it like last time when you got, uh... Experimenting with that artificial heart and you... Put too much blood into it and it punctured? I mean, you got blood on my blazer from that. I mean, no matter how many times I wash it, the, the deathly stench still lingers on it. No, no, no. It's it's fine this time. Don't you worry. Well, hurry up and prepare and you can come on over right now. What, now? I'm kind of tired, man. What, does tomorrow work? No, no, no. That's no good. If you don't come now, uh... Tell Terry about your relationship with Sheila. Alright, alright, I'm coming. Haha, <laughs> well, I'll be waiting. Man, what's, uh, what's the dog doing threatening to uh, expose my relationship with Sheila like that? I mean, Doc's Doc, but if, if Terry finds out, that's, that's a little troublesome. I mean, Terry's all flirting with, with Sheila and he doesn't even. No better relationship. Ah, whatever. I mean, if it, if it comes to that, we'll, I'll think about it when that happens. Ah, oh, but I better get going, you know. Doc, Doc will be in an uproar if I don't. I wonder what he's made this time. What are you, what are you waiting out here for, Doc? Yeah, there's a, uh... A lot of eyes around the neighborhood lately. Uh, can't be having you uh, standing out here screaming for me to, to come out. The uh, my research today you definitely can't let anybody know about it. Now, what are you, what are you exaggerating like that for? What would you invent this time anyway? It's in the it's in my laboratory, so let's, uh, let's head on down there. But man, every time I every time I look at this place, 
So it's a pretty amazing lab, I mean. Who would think this is a college professor's uh, house? Oh, come on, don't say that, man. After my wife died, uh, the only joy I get is researching. So, you know, it can't be helped. Oh, alright. Sorry about that. Don't, uh, don't get too depressed there. You know, I say a little too much sometimes, my bad. Huh? Did you hear some, uh, kind of weird voice just now, Doc? Like a, kind of a wailing sound? Look, look, it's like a, it's like a baby or something. Oh, look out, Cole. Oh, shit. Whoa. That's, that's my screaming sound. I've been working on that. Uh, get down, Cole. Whoa. What was that? What was that cat just now? Cole, were you were you bitten or, or scratched? Uh I mean it, it doesn't hurt anywhere, I'm I'm fine. But I mean more importantly Isn't wasn't that your cat just now? That's right, Kitty. It's a really brilliant name. Kitty what's what's Kitty flopping out and attacking me like that for? What did he catch rabies or something? No, um, he's he's been dead since a week ago. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking nonsense? He just jumped out, attacking me. I mean, that was, that was you know, the usually obedient kitty. I mean, he, he has to have rabies or something, right? You don't gotta hide it, dog. You just tell me. I'm not like a, a healthcare center inspector or anything. Cole, Kitty, he doesn't have rabies. That's, that's wrong. What do you mean that's wrong? I mean, you just said he's been dead since a week ago? And then you, uh, shoot him with a gun? I mean, even if it's to save me, it's a little, uh, a little much? L anyway, just listen up, Cole. Kitty's been dead a week ago. Uh, he died from, uh, senility? Have you seen Isle Decay, I guess? I mean, it's definitely not rabies. And when I when I found his body, uh... I was able to make a, uh... Like a revival serum sample. You know, a revival serum? You like to... Something to bring the dead back to life? That's right. I mean, it was... Seeing him... You know, like that, it was just... It was just too pitiful of a sight. So, you know, from my experiments, I <laughs> gave him a little, uh, little revival serum. Alright, Doc, I'm not, I'm not really comprehending you here. I mean, there's just heavily no such thing as a, as a revival serum. I mean, I know you're, I know you're a pretty well-accomplished scientist, but that's, that's like something from the movies. I mean, sure, you know, anybody, anybody here is... Revival serum talk, they're gonna think it's just nonsense. That's, you know, it's just kind of common sense. So, you know, I understand why you don't believe me, but honestly, it's, it's the correct response, really. But, so, you know, that's why you need a, uh, you know, basically, you gotta, you gotta see it to believe it. What are you, what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, you can't, you can't comprehend it. So, let me, let me show you. I mean, he's, he's, as you can see, he's dead, right? I mean, I, I shot him up that much, so... <laughs> It'd be weird if he was alive, right? Uh, you, you know, Doc, should, should we just stop? I, I believe, I believe you. Oh, no, you, you doubt me. Uh, you think I'm, think I'm going a little crazy myself, don't you? So, now, if you, if you see, you'll understand. Uh, in this syringe here is a, uh is the revival serum sample. I'm gonna um, inject him now, so let's uh watch the watch watch our clock here. Uh according to the data up to now, it's usually about uh thirteen seconds afterwards they'll come back to life. So here we go. So one, two 
Oh shit, this, this cancel advanced. What? No. No way. <laughs> he's he's back to life? What the? What's going on here? And uh, as you can tell by his movements, this isn't some kind of like rigor mortis uh, spasms or anything. So you, you believe me now, don't you? I mean, th this this has to be a lie or something, right? Well, no, this ain't no lie. I mean, as you can see, he's clearly moving. I mean, this is this is pretty amazing, isn't it, Doc? You probably get like a Nobel Prize or something for this, shouldn't you? Uh, announce it, and make it public. When when you uh, when you doing that? Oh, we're not we're not at the step of making this public yet. I mean, as I said before, this is just a just a sample. Well, I mean, what? Why not? It's obvious. It's finished, isn't it? There's um still kind of ununderstood side effects uh, the uh, serum causes an increase in violent behavior violent behavior what do you like in, in the zombie movies <laughs> yeah that's that's a that's a good way to put it I guess but uh, I mean I haven't tested it in humans yet though so we, we can't be sure yet I mean, if I just test it in people, it'd make me a criminal. You know, I'm just a scientist, not a doctor. But yeah, I mean, as you saw from this cat, uh... You know, whatever's injected loses any sense of... Like... Obedience. Or any sense of, uh, docileness. You know, I mean, I haven't heard of cats just... Suddenly attacking people for no reason. I mean, you thought it was, you thought he had rabies. I mean, I mean, I, I should say, uh, outside of, uh, it having rabies. That's right, uh, kitty. Why is, why is he just attacking people like that? Does he have a sort of objective or something? Whoa, Cole, don't, don't touch him now. Uh, there's a, one thing I forgot to say, uh, whatever's revived, they're... Their strength is, uh, multiplied, basically. I mean, you know the phrase, uh... Oh, it's dumb to translate. I guess I'll say, you know the phrase, going easy on someone, right? In truth, um... Muscles have the power to basically, uh... Break your own bones, but... Uh, normal living beings... Uh, through instinct so they're able to you know kind of save and preserve that power to, to protect their own bodies so you know these um when they develop these violent tendencies like this you know it kind of increases and in, uh, in a way of saying you know to go easy on or i guess to con um to take instincts into consideration you know they forget that and you know, like an unbelievable amount of power they're able to to wield. Um, and so you know, you can break bones. He's gonna be, you know, pretty pretty dangerous for humans. And you know, and humans would be even more dangerous. And uh, we got a new character here, a uh, little little cop, Cougar. This is uh, this is Jack pre precinct sixteen's num uh, Jack. Can you, uh, can you open up, please, Cougar? Oh, it's the cops. What are we gonna do, Doc? Cougar, uh, open up. This is Jack. Uh, Cole, you stay here. Uh, could you, <laughs> could you hide this cat in the freezer there? Uh, I mean, make sure, don't get, don't get bit now. Yeah, I, I got it. Cougar? Uh, Cougar? Cougar says, uh, Jack, what are you, uh, what are you doing this late at night? And Cole, oh man, this house is so old, uh, the voices are coming all the way down to the lavatory here. Ah, Cougar, um, 
yeah, there's been some reports of some odd cat screams. <laughs> Is that so? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of wild cats around here, and uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty troublesome. They're always howling at night like that, but I mean, <laughs> what what are people thinking of calling up the cops for something like that? Oh, I mean, this this isn't just a case of some, you know, screaming wildcat. This is like some kind of weird, creepy, uh, moan, scream. And we've been getting these reports from, like, uh, about a week ago. So, you know, I'm kind of getting a little concerned about it. I thought I'd come patrol out here and see what's going on. I see, that's right, um, but I mean, weird screams like that, I haven't, I haven't heard anything. Is that so? Um, if you don't mind, would you mind, uh, if you don't mind, would you mind? If I uh, have a peek inside, I mean, this is kind of, you know, standard procedure, it won't, won't take too long here. Oh, I don't, I don't really mind, um, I have a guest over right now, uh, just so you know, if you wouldn't take too long. Oh, that's, yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, if you'll excuse me. This your, uh, this your bedroom here? That's right, uh, my wife died in a car accident, so I've kind of been, uh, neglecting the cleaning. So it's a bit, a bit messy in here. Oh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. So this is your, uh, or, excuse me, this is my, uh, study. Uh, this is where all my, where I do all my research, um, you know, so try not to poke around and mess things up too much in here. Oh, sure, no problem, I won't touch anything. Uh, what's the, what's the room next door? Oh, that's my, that's my laboratory, that's where the, that's where my guest is at. Uh, is it okay if I go in there and well? I think Cole's like, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna come in here too? Come on, Doc, send this guy home already. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. What's this, uh, what's this picture you have hanging here? Oh, there's, uh, some famous scientists. I'm kind of a fledgling scientist myself, so, you know, I kind of, I kind of look up to these people. Cole, this is, um, 16th Precinct's, uh, detective. Oh, uh, nice, nice to meet you. My name, my name's Cole. Uh, good evening, Cole. My name, I'm Jack uh, Keithman. Uh, what are you guys, what are you guys doing up this late? Oh yeah, we were, um, you know, we were making plans for a party. Doc, I mean, uh, Professor, we were, you we know, kind of just discussing it right now. I see. Um, is that so? Oh, by by the way, Coo, what kind of kind of research you do? Oh, mostly, um, kind of researching into cancer cells. You know, my rivals are always, uh, a step ahead of me. <laughs> Guess my age is finally catching up, huh? Wait, wait, what was the, what was that voice just now? Oh, it's probably just some wild cats out in the back. Uh, there's, uh, some garbage cans back there, so, you know, they gather a lot and have, uh, have themselves a feast. There's also a graveyard ne graveyard nearby, so they get some dessert too. That's, that's hilarious, cool. <laughs> I see. Not, don't you guys mess up and become the salad now? Uh, anyway, I guess I'll uh, guess I'll get going here. Uh, if, you know, if anything, any concerning matters come up come up, uh, you know, give me a call. Oh, that's some, uh, some fine work there, sir. Wait, wait a minute. That voice, it, it's, it's coming from that freezer over there. Can't you hear it? Oh, uh, no, I mean, it's just my... medicine-type stuff in there. No, no, I definitely hear something. Uh, can we open that up? Ooh, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Oh, dog, why didn't you 
<laughs> Why didn't you turn them down? I mean, if I turn them down, wouldn't that kind of have the opposite effect to make us look suspicious? I mean, all the, um... All the animals up to now that I injected, uh... Within two minutes, they... Died again. So what, that cat's still alive then? What are we gonna do? Doc, uh, uh, Jack. How oh, he looks fine. Oh, <laughs> Doc, what are we, what are we gonna do? We gotta, we gotta get into the hospital quick. Ooh, it's a little, uh, a little too late for that. His uh, throat's been cut open. His uh, jugular and artery have been uh, severed pretty cleanly. And Kitty? He's uh, he's completely dead now. Uh, he's the last of his remaining power to go for Jack's throat there. Well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna be... We're murderers now, right? That's right. I mean, if we just... If we show the... If we show him the uh, revival situation... Whoa, what's what's wrong, Doc? I mean, if we do, if, you know, if we tell the police the truth about all this, come on, I mean, even even you was doubting the effects of the revival serum. If we just if we tell the police something like that, you think they're just gonna just gonna you know uh, believe us so simply like that? You know, they'll think they'll think we're touched in the head. I mean, there's no chance they're gonna. Allow us to, you know, explain something like that, because you know the uh, the victim's a cop here. So you know, well, you know, only thing left for us is the electric chair or the uh, the gas chamber, you know, a little scion gas or something. <laughs> oh man, what what are we gonna do then? If we just leave him like this, he'll be found immediately. So Kitty, uh, he, he bit Jack's throat, right? That's right. Uh, well, you got some sort of plan? The, um, makeup of the revival serums of virus, uh, the, uh, sample refinement isn't, uh, you know, 100% really. Um, you know, some kind of bacteria is... Uh, swarming inside it. So the uh, the mu he has a mucous membrane infection. So if you get bit or uh, scratched, you'll get infected. So you know from like a like a wound, you know the virus the infection will enter and the virus will go straight to the brain. So what you mean, Jack's gonna become a zombie now? Oh, I mean, we can't be sure of that. Um, I mean, like I said before, I haven't tested on uh, tested it out on humans at all. But I mean, if I'm gonna say one thing, um, you know, Jack. Some time has passed, but Jack is he doesn't even he hasn't moved a muscle at all right yet. Oh, <clears throat> so I mean, humans are their bodies are pretty big. So compared to like a like a cat, the, uh, you know, the volume capacity, um, you know, it's a lot bigger, so, you know, so from like a little, from a little bite from Kitty, uh, the effects might take a little, a little longer to appear here. I mean, yeah, sure, Kitty was, you know, just a, it's my household cat that I, I was raising, but, I mean, animals out there, you know, like their most primeval, However you say it, um, you know they're, they're kind of they're violent creatures. Uh, so humans might, you know, more than a beast, they might be more uh, reasonable. So while well, you're saying a human might be different than a cat, and you know not be all violent like that, I mean we can't can't say for certain, but. But I mean, you know, we're just standing here, we're not making any progress at all, so... 
Let's let's try to let's try bring him back to life. Well, I mean, I guess if we if we bring him back to life, we might avoid the death sentence at least. But I mean, if we fail here, we'll f you know, it's nothing but the death sentence awaiting us, right? All right, cool. Back uh, back up a bit. You know, if this if this goes bad, uh, I'm gonna shoot him. All right. Damn, some fast seconds. Five seconds have passed. Ten seconds have passed. Fifteen seconds. Ah, it looks like it's, it doesn't work on people, huh, Jock? It's like a... It's like I'm dreaming or something. Whoa, Jack, he's... he's back to life! Jack! Can you understand me? It's me, Cougar! Ooh. Jack, can you hear me? Jack, it's me! Whoa! That's, that's Jack zombie noise. Doc, look out! Is this a light gun part? No matter how many times I shoot, he won't die. Alright, Cole, you... you Escape ahead of me. Uh, I'll be right behind you. No, let's get out of here together. Just get, just get. All right, uh, hurry up. Doc, it's the uh, it's the cemetery. All right, let's let's run in here. Uh, we might be able to lose them. What were you saying? People won't have those uh, those violent tendencies. Where's, uh, where's Jack's, uh, since the reasoning gun? Well, I mean, I guess humans' ancestors are apes after all. Oh, there's a nice little message on the, uh, the right side. There's a bricks for you there. I mean, that's, uh, that's a little different, isn't it? <sighs> he's, uh, he's out of breath. Uh, what's that bag? It's my, uh, it's my revival serum. But I mean, look, he's still chasing us. Um, yeah, he's he's still coming after us. Ooh, he's a he's a persistent little fella. What, Doc? Are you all right? Oh boy, my medicine. Uh, Doc, Jack's coming. Let's let's hurry up out of here. But my my revival medicine. Uh, if it's the med, you can just make more later. Let's let's hurry up and get. It. That's actually a very important scene for uh, the sequel to this game. So take note. Oh boy. I want to make sure you read the. Uh, I'll go back and read that tombstone's name. This thing goes on for about three hours, so... Of the brain, scream of the depart of the departed. But yeah, I think we'll. Uh, I think that's a good good spot to end it. And we're just back in my house now. Um, put a little little savey right here. Make sure this video actually recorded right. Maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe you somehow snuck in my house and are watching this video from my recycle bin. But otherwise, I'll see you guys uh, in part two. Maybe, maybe I'll try to do this every night. Um, you no, know, I want to get through this game. So yeah, adios.